Bayou Thermal Bandits. All right, guys, different scenario than the last one. Going to a site here that uh, I haven't been to in almost a year. Uh, it will be in a few months anyway. I think the last time maybe I've been here was last May. Uh, it's a river bottom area. It drops off into a river bottom area anyway. And so this, it's full of coyotes, but I don't know where they are. I don't know where den locations are. I don't really know anything. It's been a long time since I've been here. So what's different than the last scenario is that I may have to run through a number of different things. And um, so on a, on a new site, what I try to do is I look for, uh, you know, the most likely location of where they probably will be. And I'm wrong a lot in figuring that out because they normally come in from a different direction. But, you know, if I can protect my wind, I try to. Uh, but like the last one, you know, that I had, the, the coyote did come straight at me uh, from upwind, which was different right normally they swing around me but anyway here I'm going to try to set up you know crosswind from the call don't know where they're coming from I don't know where they're at and so what I like to do is start off in the daytime so I can see what's going on um, you know because it's been so long and I'm probably just going to start off with some distress calls and probably do an entire set sort of something like a, uh, a bobcat uh, set basically uh, coyotes will come into it just just fine it's normal distress sounds and if I don't have any action at that point uh, that's when I'm going to go ahead and and try to do a female lone howl and see if I can wait a few minutes see what happens no response I'll try it one more time wait a few more minutes see if there's a response I get no response um, I may try to stress for just a few moments in case something has come in. Otherwise, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is uh, to go ahead and, and use a coyote locate call and try to determine where they are, right? And sometimes after that, once they hear, I hear where they are, then I can, and they hear where I am, um, I can sometimes get them to come in after that by switching back to something like I used in the last episode, which, you know, again, at this time of the year anyway, female call, a male call, and then making a kill. So you need to tell a story with your calls. Tell a story. It's the best way uh, to get uh, them to commit. If, you, if it's a believable story, all right? So, all right, we'll see how it goes, guys. And um, hopefully I'll be posting some videos for you, uh, some kill videos. We'll see. All right. for a bobcat or a coyote to come up out of that bottom thinking this is where their normal corridor is
right, guys. Uh, turns out the first place that I stopped, um, it was kind of close to really a construction site, some oil field work going on out there, and it was very loud. Uh, you can hear it a little bit in the background on um, some of the early video. So I decided, because of the time in the evening, I just waited about another 30 minutes, you know, for people to get off of work, and then moved about 250 yards or so further away uh, and that's where I was able to get <coughs> the uh, two coyotes saw another one in the distance too when I was leaving but um, I decided not to push it um, just in case he'd already busted me I didn't want to play a bunch of sounds that um, you know would let him know what's going on so I'm just gonna leave this side alone for a bit but worked out pretty well like I said I didn't I never heard um, a vocal back. Uh, the only thing I did was play distress sounds. And um, again, because I haven't been here for a while, if nobody else is calling in your area, if you just play distress sounds, you're gonna get some uh, coyotes to come into that. But uh, they they didn't come in right away. And so I just played a, um, a female invitation howl. Uh, I think maybe twice separated by several minutes. Uh, and then went back to the distress <clears throat> and a male came out and that was the first one uh, and um, anyway he ended up as a, a spinner and sort of ran off a bit and um, I didn't keep that one he's kind of tore up too much but the second one was a female that came in and she decided to come in closer so I was able to get her up close and, and get a good chest shot and uh, I have her loaded up because I'm gonna pelt it and pelt her and um, tan that hide also so anyway overall success maybe hour and a half at the most is the amount of time I spent here just sort of looking around setting up setting up twice and waiting that 30 minutes in there <clears throat> and uh, so hour and a half from getting here to leaving after loaded up so I would say successful hunt and um, we'll catch you guys next time <clears throat>